fortune. Long at least tore my companion to shreds. And I only escaped from skin and shine of a weak arm swinging it, eh? And then what? Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me, me and my comrade. We'll gut the fucker. Aye, but not us, the Witcher. Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard, you shat yourself and sore specters. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shan't let us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. You from Pharaoh? Come a long way. That just happened. Came to Fairsdale to trade a load of hides from Svorlag. Svorlag? Thought you were from Pharaoh. Svorlag's on Speakerog. Uh, ah, uh, well, you see, first I sailed from Pharaoh to Svorlag. Traded some loot from the continent for hides there, then came here. Pharaoh to Speakerog to Ard Skellig. <laughs> Roundabout journey. I hadn't much choice, had I? A merchant sails where the trade's good, not where it's close at hand. That hunter, could he be right? Maybe it was just wolves. I knows what I saw. Besides, who's he to say? Those drum and blaggards don't know shite from shoelaces. That particular blaggard was wearing on crate colors. Uh, you sure about that? Sure than sure. Ugh, doesn't matter. That lot's not to be trusted either. Monsters attacked me. I need a witcher, not some hunter. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate were on our way here to Fearsdal with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle, I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekuks. No doubt about it. What? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Yeah, neckers. Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? That road needs to be clear. Aim to travel it again soon. Hmm, <laughs> don't know. You lost your transport, so I don't see how you're going to pay me. And I don't work for free. I've coins set aside. I'm sure we'll agree terms. How much would you ask? Fair price. So, how will it be? I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drumdund. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, oh I, I, um, here. I mean, in, in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. Horrible. Is it? Uncle said something folk on the continent got heads out. We but should you go see got the cats. I've been already. They said their herbs can't Not help, yais. and all that's left Must is to pray. Arcadian. So have you? I prayed when Gyar left me, <laughs> and my mother.
the wagon. Need to look around. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Gash is like claw marks in its flanks, but it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus. was no accident. Better investigate. started here. I think I see some tracks. A necker. Must have waded through mud before arriving here. What's going on here?
A necker's foot, hollowed out inside like a boot. Someone lost it while running. The plot thickens. Necker paw and a human foot, small like a child's, clearly running. Trail ends here. <laughs> Who would think to hang drawings in a place like this? Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. <laughs> Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These balls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. <laughs> Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. A necker, torn apart by something huge, then someone cut its legs off. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract.
someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, and we're up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Lichy thingy no dub dub. The bounding lichy thingy swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh, really? Fact is, I could just turn around and... Bloody toad! Lichy thingy gub gub shucky! Wolf swoop man. I wonder why he's not already in the shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer, like the rest of them, like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A dumpler. But this witcher didn't kill her, and we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Corrid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena, the Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire? He showed her no mercy. Arena killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? I helped a godling. Two, in fact. Johnny and Sarah. That's true. I heard about that. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> There's this Sylvan in Velen. You gotta know him. I had a choice. Kill him and collect a reward from the local peasants, or talk it out with him. I chose the latter. Sylvan's a nasty schemers, but it was nice of you to spare him. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. Ah. I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters, so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared, you know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah! Fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher! A kind witcher! A lying witcher! He fiends it all! All humans lie! Let it rest! This is not the way! You shan't bring Adalia back! Ah! Stay here! I'll finish this alone!
you're right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. That's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks.